Somebody had a birthday at the weekend. How was it? Mm. It was no, no. It was really, it was really, really nice, and it was sort of preceded by a, a weekend where I was working in um, in Dublin in Belfast, and I did a show called the Craig Doyle Show. Were well, you 58? Shut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even bothered about my age anyway, Carol. <laughs> Carol loves it, but I've just picked ahead of her. I've just, anyway, so I went to... 52. 52. Thank you, yeah. thanks, Carol. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I went to a lovely, lovely, lovely one and a half. shop. Bless you. No, I meant 51 and a half. Ah, you see. <laughs> anyway, would you like me to talk or would you just like yeah, to... Yeah, no, we want to hear about what you did. So I went to Ireland... And uh, I had a lovely weekend, did the Craig Doyle show, and Kim Marsh was on it, and lovely um, Johnny Vegas, who's loved up with the Dublin girl, so he yeah. was really happy, oh. and Barry McGuigan. So it was lovely to see all of them. And it was just the things that the, that the people in Dublin say, which I just love, because I love the accent, even though I'm not very good at it. But I'd just been in the car, telling them the story of years ago, when Tim was first well-known off our Vida Zane Pet, and he'd been to Dublin, and he was sat on this park bench reading a newspaper, and this woman had come past him this way, she came past him that way, and she went right up to him and said... It's no good pretending you don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and then just... Uh, and then just, just... Just as I was telling them this story, I was with... I, 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 was, I was in the car, um, uh, me, me and, uh, and Gary, who, who, who was driving me, and we were driving along, and we knew that we had to get over the bridge to get to this hotel. So eventually we couldn't find it. Satnav was going all over the place. So we pulled down the window and said, excuse me, can you tell us how to get to that hotel? Because we know we're on the wrong side. And the guy went, oh, no, you don't want to be starting from here. <laughs> Love, lo Love Island. Then we went over to Belfast, which was which was great, and then went straight to Newcastle. And um, I was staying at the uh, the Vermont, looking over all the bridges, my favourite site in the world. And all my family came in, Lovely. and uh, and we just had a nice um, a nice a nice a nice little party, a nice Aww. birthday dinner. And I went to bed respectably sort of sober at about quarter past one in the morning, Good which I thought you. was good. Oh, we don't like to say happy birthday, Denise. Yes. Happy birthday, Denise. Happy birthday, Denise. Happy birthday, Denise. Happy birthday, Denise. Happy birthday. You made it to 52. Now, Denise, seeing as you're 41 and a half, yeah. uh, you might want to think about this. Uh, Britney Spears fans usually give her a warm reception, but her latest plans might leave them cold. It's been reported that Britney is taken by the idea of cryogenetic mm -hmm, freezing and wants to be frozen after her death. She hopes that one day she can be brought back to life in the future. So, do you like the idea of sort of putting yourself on ice and then coming back in the future, Denise? Um... I do. I'd like to be sort of welcomed back with a with a warm hand on my entrance, as they say. <laughs> um, <laughs> back into the back in, back into the land of the of the living. Yeah. Well, I think I've often thought I've often thought about this because I would like to come back just to see. The, the horror of technology, I suppose, because I'm someone who still wants the, the phone in the hall with the curly wire like that. It's you know? horrible for you now, isn't it? Technology? Well, it's really, it's really freaking yeah. out technology now. I mean, really is. I just want it to stop and not go, not go any further. So I'm quite interested when you think, say, over the past century, how, you know, people would never have thought what was mm. going on now. It would be nice just to sort of peek down and maybe keep Britney, Brit Britney a little bit of company. Yeah. So I would, I would like to... I don't want to see how people have, have aged and, and I don't really think that I would like to see my children aged 80 or whatever they would be. Um, I just would like to come and see how technology would then go back. So you'd I wouldn't want to come back and stay here, not just with me and Brittany. Would you, would you, <laughs> so you would sort of come back generically rather than, say, come back and go, cooey, on, you know, any of our Yeah, I don't understand that word, but yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, don't... Don't, don't take this the wrong way, because I'm actually not being... I'm not being negative and I'm not being pessimistic, but... No, because that would be so unlike you. <laughs> <laughs> but, seriously, no, I wouldn't want that at all, because for two reasons. And the first one is that I either think that um, man is going to um, destroy the planet completely within, you know, a fairly short space of time. You know, and I, and I do... I've said this before. No, I'm not, I'm not being... You know, it's not, it's not going to happen in my lifetime, so I'm not that I worried like, about I just it. Have my but, yeah, yeah, which is why really I'm not coming cross. back. Well, no, because I do think... I do think there's a problem with the planet. I, I don't necessarily buy the whole man-made global warming, you know, well, look, theory. You, you, but, you but, absolutely don't buy No, that, I don't. Do but I do believe that man is, is plundering the planet to an extent that it will wear it out, and men, man will then 
have to, you know, give up because there won't be anything to, to live on. And, and, you know, and I know they find new things all the time, but I honestly do think that that might be a problem one day, probably thousands of years I'm in the future. Say, I think it'd be thousands but, of years in the future. Well, I don't know, we'd hope so, but yeah. that, that's just the way I see it. Or... The other thing is, because of all this activity that's been going on, you know, with there's yeah. so many volcanoes and massive tsunamis. earthquakes and tsunamis and all sorts of stuff like that, there is a lot, actually, if you look historically at, at what's going on. And I don't know, but I've got this thing that I've, I just imagine that one day the Earth is going to implode mm. and there will be... Because planets do do that all the time. Don't people tune in, into this show to cheer themselves up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not being pessimistic. I'm just, I'm just trying to think, actually, what would be happening in the future? You know, you or man might also? wipe themselves out with some giant nuclear war, and the only thing that will be left when you come back will be cockroaches. So it'll just be you and a cockroach. Yeah. No, no, right, mate. It'll be me and Brittany and a cockroach. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I think that these, these creatures, these human beings that are, are quite weak creatures and that they will wear themselves out very shortly because that we're quite weak, aren't we? I mean, we're not very strong creatures, not like the dinosaurs or anything. No, so. but we're also too clever. You know, yeah, by half. Yeah, a man is too clever and it, it keeps inventing things that is, is bypassing nature and I think if you bypass nature too much, in exactly. the end, you kind of destroy but, but it. But would so you come, the question is still, would you come back, though? Well, I, I mean, my favourite film is Back to the Future. Don't you love those mm. films? And so that's fantasy world, isn't it? You know, I'd love to have that car, and I'd knit, like to knit back and knit full when I could, you know, when I've got a few hours to spare, so I could see Be what happened there. Time traveller. Time yeah. traveller. I think that's just fun. If they can invent... T they probably have invented time travelling, to be honest. But I'd love to go into the future. And then I'd like to go into the future, obviously, to see your children and things. And then, and then when you see things going wrong, knit back, put it right. <laughs> so when you go back again, what? it's all all yeah, right. But that's going to cause a problem, though. So say you Why? go, say well, you go like a couple of... If Sherry was going back to put things <laughs> right, <laughs> well, it would. But, but, why would it? but say you went to the future, you know, yeah. a thousand years, mm. and, and, you know, what I see as the future has happened and, and the planet is destroyed and there is nothing to eat there's no energy left there's nothing right well, now what would you do what <laughs> what? <laughs> because, what, is this? what would you do would you go back and warn people because if you did yeah. go back and warn people they certainly would not listen to you and then you'd be like so helpless that what would you do and also You'd know imagine if everybody was doing that if everybody was nipping back and forth just changing things you know somebody could be in our future now from the past and then bloop, you would disappear because you weren't in there it would all get really you know, confusing you know, like if you look back yeah. when you were young say for instance so, 60s and 70s, and you look forward to 2010. Yeah. Ooh. What did we think was going to be here in be like 2010? The yeah. Aliens and flying through the sky in, in cars. Oh, and, do you, do you maybe, maybe you are an alien, which is what we've already thought. <laughs> Please, I say. Okay, well, for now, we're.